know uh, if I call myself an artist or a craftsman. Well, the reason I got started is because I like stained glass. You know, I was looking at it and said, well, I like that stuff. You know, I went to a couple galleries and looked at stained glass, you know, and I said, man, I'd I like to do that. I just basically bought a book and, a, and some tools and started tinkering with it, and that's how I learned. You know, and it just grew from there. At the time, I was a bartender. <laughs> Way back when, in the days of, you know, uh, 76, I think it was, when I first came to Colorado. I started doing art shows and selling my stuff and, and just getting experience doing it. I just grew into business after that. Well, this is the guy that saw me on eBay. I liked a piece on eBay, but wanted a different size. So I had to revamp it a little bit. Redesign it a little bit. But it basically, it's a simple, very similar design. See, they see the designs on eBay. I want something like that, I want no color. And I designed it for them, they said they'd send a picture of the design. They approve of it, and I go ahead and make it. But this is the, the method that Louis Tiffany pioneered way back when, when he did all his orders. He, he was a pioneer of the copper foil method, that's why they call it the Tiffany process. A lot of people at Tiffany called Tiffany glass. Well, Tiffany is just the guy that invented this way to do it. That's how he made all, most of his windows. This is a piece that's already foiled. All I, have to, I have to put it back on the pattern and foil it together. This is the foil. This is the glass. It's not a, not a, you, know, you just wrap it. Before. Wrap each, each piece has to be wrapped in foil. You have to be pretty good at it. Crimp it down. Usually I use a marker to do that. So we have a piece that's foil. A little bit of a tedious process, but uh, that's why leaded glass is a little expensive. And that's, that's all, all these are foil. This, this took me probably a couple hours to do. Foil all this stuff. After it's wrapped, just put it back on the pattern, lay it back on the pattern, and then uh, make sure it's precisely on the pattern. Precisely, every piece has to be positioned properly. And then you tack it and, and solder it. Yeah, the foil is, you have to have, the solder has something to adhere to. It doesn't adhere to the glass, it has to, it, metal to metal. And then you put the flux on here. The flux here. You, know, you can't solder without flux. It's kind of like a catalyst. It makes the solder flow and stick with the copper. Uh, not hot enough, you can use the next one. Just keep on going. And this is a really hot one. And I changed over to this process probably 20, 25 years ago. Oh, I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs>